This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. What up? What up? Say what, say what, say what? Which doctor? <laughs> Bonjour, oui, oui, si la vie. Welcome to Pierre's Raw Bureau. Yes, honey, we're back for another Raw View, the end of Dragula Titans. Praise the Lord. Not that it was horrible, but still praise the Lord. Sorry, we're talking about Dracula, so I guess they would say praise the demons. God, not me. The Dracula people. But welcome back. Y'all know how we do it here. Piggies, come here to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Are y'all excited for an all-new Raw View? Are y'all excited for the end of Dracula? Are y'all sad about it? On to the next. How do y'all feel about it? Um, yeah. As always, if you would like to tip in support the channel like and subscribe tipping information is in the description box down below thank you in advance guys i read all the tips in my drag race videos so you will hear your name in the canada versus the world wish it to be their last episode as well thank you god and yes now i don't know who wins tonight i have not watched it yet but it'll be a mess if two victorias win now i don't mind this victoria from dragula winning but if the victoria from drag race wins canada's drag race it's over. Girl, not two Victorias winning. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, so let's read some comments really quick. So it says, The lie detector tests have been proven to be very easy to get through. As long as you can keep calm, you can basically pass lie detector tests with ease. I've never had one, you know. And they say that, they say that the guy that does it on Dragula is like a phony, pretty much. I mean, a phony being in Hollywood. I'm shook. You know how, like, when I think of people being freaky and having all kind of weird kinks, I mostly think of gay people. I like, in my mind, I like to think that women are just dainty, delicate flowers who don't even pass gas. When they fart, they sneeze out pixie dust and rose petals. Oh, so I happened to be on Twitch one day, and there was a young woman bent over in front of the Piggly Wigglies. And she was urinating out of her cuckoo hole, spraying it all over a young, helpless black man in front of the Piggly Wigglies. And <laughs> that's when I knew that women are just as nasty. <laughs> Wait, if the finale next week, and I just realized that the whole twist of if you don't participate in the fright fee, the previous person comes back twist literally never happened. I mean, I guess so. This episode was weird with the unnecessary drama. The way Coco tried to black guilt everybody in the room with a dramatic speech, they were really nodding and being quiet. Not trying to say the wrong thing. The way I wouldn't have cared at all. Right, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I feel like they probably wanted to say something, but they wanted to be careful that they don't say nothing to the wrong the wrong thing to a black person. So they were like, you're right, you're right, Victoria. I mean, um, Coco. <laughs> so yeah, it's about the guy same with, with the whole lie detector thing. So isn't the lie detector guy the same person that all the YouTubers used to hire back in like 2015, Shane Dawson and all of them, to do their lie detector videos just for him to end up being exposed like two or three years ago for being complete fraud and making up the true lie answers depending on what they asked him to say and how much they paid him, if I'm remembering correctly. Well, Victoria is Latin white, so I guess diverse, diverse. I'm sorry, like, I just have, sometimes, I, like, I, everybody wants to, like, pin that some white person has something in them, besides spam and pork and beans. Um, it's like, Trixie's Native American, and like, but, like, I know that these people, I, I, I just, I'm sorry, but I know that on their driver's license, and when they do applications, they put white. I know they do. I know they do not put mix. I, I know they don't. Y'all can't pay me to believe that, that that some of these people don't go just simply by white. I would never, and I know that there are, I know that there are light, lighter skin, you know, Spanish people, but I would never look at Victoria and say, 
that's a Spanish person. I just wouldn't, I'm sorry. I would never look at Trixie and be like, that's a Native American, like no. But you know, people are only things when they, depending on the situation. And that's all the comments. Let's get to the show. I haven't seen the last of me because <laughs> My computer's kind of like skipping, it seems like, because I'm like watching it on another thing. <laughs> I'm like, that edit just now, did, was that my skip in the computer or, or did they really just cut him off really quick and drop him again? <laughs> Room Legend has it. You can still hear Nina echoing from the last raw view laughing at Eva falling down. Okay. Mama got on they Bride of Frankenstein tees. Regulus first. Okay, they gotten a little better. Somebody went to Piers Emporium for acting school. Let the games begin. And by games, they mean drama. It's a little empty in Holy. here. How's that making me uncomfortable? Because I'm like, what kind of 12-year-old schoolgirl? <laughs> I love to take risks. I love risks. You make your best. You make y'all question. You know, I'm just asking. You know, don't judge me. Y'all know I'll be crunching and munching. It's a raw view. Okay. Do y'all think Coco earned her place where she is? Or do y'all think there was some pushery going on? Do y'all think there's a thing of like, we don't want to seem like we're not inclusive going on? I'm just curious. Cause like, that's not always the case when it comes to somebody black making it far. Or people of color. But I'm just curious of what y'all think. And oh, and Hozo. Because part of me, I feel like, I'm like, did Hozo really kill it this season? Cause it doesn't feel like it, but maybe it is me. I can't believe Coco proven to the end that she's a drag girl by wearing her boy clothes, but putting on a little bit of ketchup on her H&M blouse. See, you see, I'm edging. I got ketchup on my H&M blouse. You see me? <laughs> Presentation of the brand. So you'll be joining us as a special, the Boulet Brothers. Okay. I'm like, have they done this before? But I know like, I'm like, are they taking stuff from Drag Race with the whole B on our podcast kind of thing? That's kind of cool, though. So, I mean, but, you know. While lip syncing to our new song, Ascension. So, they're excited to be lip syncing a Brule Brothers song. Okay. As well as how you performed on your original season. Right, so they're actually going to also de determine the winner by how they did in their previous season. I don't get it. Like, why? That makes no sense. Like, you already did all that. Like, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of the. Oh, they look cute there, especially the the the, the smaller one. <laughs> oh, I wish the other one, his neckline was more plunged, but he looked cute. Come on, ghostly Marilyn Monroe's. <laughs> Congratulations to making yes. it to the finale. Not an interview at the same time. Secretly, y'all, can I just fast forward all this and just like go to the the runway? Like, for real, like, this could be the shortest raw view ever. And I'm at peace with that. <laughs> like, do I really want to sit here and watch them gabble and jabble? Ooh, like tea. <laughs> Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> Coco look a little scary to me. <laughs> Girl, mama got her, um, her funeral parlor suit. And was giving me ventriloquist dummy slappy from Goosebumps just now in a suit. <laughs> I think he shook me, yeah. Eh, oh. You know, getting torn apart online. It's yeah. like, because it's vicious mm -hmm. out there, it is. Oh, yeah. Right. And now they say, and then Nina going to rob you and coming for me. <laughs> People almost feel the need. Let's be really mean to them because they're no longer human. These are things that. But I love how they're saying all this, but yet a couple of them were the ones going online being mean to people and being mean to certain YouTubers. Like, what? <laughs> Weren't y'all going on podcasts and going online doing the same thing that, that y'all say the fans are doing to y'all? I'm just saying very much but the sexual romantic relationships or interactions once again once again the gays and their, the gays and their open relationships <laughs> I love you but not that much where I want to be committed but not that much though okay. <laughs> season two to not have any drag daughter oh I know I have a kind of daughter who pushed herself on me and Lord knows, I'm trying to push her away. But I ain't gonna say any names. Right. Let's just say, she ain't that lucky, and I'm gonna make her see stars. You put the two together. And you charged us full price. <gasps> don't you? I don't buy it. <laughs> okay. 
you competed in pageants uh, previously. I know she did pageants. Was it a Kentucky Fried Chicken pageant? <laughs> I can tell you for a fact, when it came down to evil, I was like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, I see Eva and Coco in the bed, doggy styling, while doing the finger claps. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good back there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell y'all, they don't have nothing to film. So they're literally just like making all this part so dramatic. Sitting down to the table, showing their artwork, showing a notebook. Okay. The other one, the smaller one, it looks too big on him. The taller one's wearing it better, but I'll I'll buy it. What is happening? <laughs> Not the head won't stand still. <laughs> Not the guy's dead, but his body's still moving. <laughs> He's acting. That's kind of cool, and I feel like Victoria probably built all that. I feel like she made all that. I can't. Okay, girl. If she don't move on to the next body part, girl, at least eat the nipple. I think this is auto tune for God. But it's giving me very much like a '80s like horror movie song you would hear, you know. But you know, okay. I'm confused because I thought I thought when Victoria. When they tied her to the back of the thing, that the body she put on, she was gonna turn around and then that body was gonna put to come alive, but now it'll be her, you know, like I guess naked or whatever. So I'm like, what was the point? And Hoso, I mean, I'm sorry, um, Coco's idea is cool. I wish that her face would have looked more like a bug or something, though. Uh, like, it, it doesn't really tie into me. Oh, Charlotte from. Charlotte's wig trying to walk. <laughs> you put on that wig and that roach came crawling out of it across your face. How is that true that a roach really crawl out her wig on her face? Because I would have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here, here we are for the last time. Yeah. Our last deliberation in the underworld before we pluck one of these monsters from oblivion and bring them back with us to reign supreme. I'm going to miss this place as hot as it was and as Hellish, does it? For some reason, the Bully Brothers look, only 80s people will notice. It's kind of giving me The Last Dragon. I can't explain it, but I could see this being in The Last Dragon. Like, with the show nuff and, like, his, um, his little, like, minions that he had around him. Like, it's give, it gives me very much, it's like 80s, like, martial arts movie or something. That's what I'm getting. I think we should leave the same way that everyone else left this season. What do you think? Please get dropped. <laughs> Creativity, 10. You said that twice. <laughs> the creativity. But what about the lip sync? <laughs> and maybe the challenges didn't go their way and they go home early, but that doesn't necessarily mean. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, that is true. Like, just because somebody goes home, like on drag race or whatever the case is, early does not mean that they're less worthy than anybody else or not good. You know? A lot of people like write people off like, oh, they went home early. They're nobody. But it's like, that's not the case. They may, they may even be better than your favorite or the winner. Secretly. Not on just this on this show, show literally on in any drag I've never show. Seen and Coco just say RuPaul's Drag Race, not any drag show. <laughs> goes on tour with us all over the world, comes back and has to jump right in. No. Or did y'all make Hozo tour so she could pay for her own flight back to South Korea? <laughs> of the Blade Brothers Dragula. And it's thank you for being here. Ugh, they could have had all this talk in the bedroom later on. God dang. What we've made from nothing. You know, being here on this Titan season with them. Are they saying things like they never come back again? They getting ready to pass away? <laughs> oh, thank God they ain't sure that picture long. <laughs> Victoria Elizabeth. What? That was it? That's how y'all announced the winner? <laughs> no crown, just their portrait. And some laughing in the back. <laughs> Is there gonna be a special episode? Like <laughs> all of that, and then that's the ending. Like what? Did production leave? Did the budget run out? Like what? Well, congrats, Victoria. I guess. <laughs> but I was right about my curse. You won. That means the other Victorias 
Fish Tori is winning. Oh my god. Two Vickies in one universe. No! Well, that was a boring, interesting episode. What do y'all think? Are y'all happy with the winner? Maybe they wanted Hozo to win, but when Hozo said she wasn't going to move to America, they said, well, girl, bye. <laughs> well, y'all were wrong about them choosing Coco because she's black. This was an interesting season that... I don't know. Thank y'all for watching this whole journey, though, with me and coming to my raw views. I appreciate y'all for real. And just because the Dragula ends here for now, don't mean that y'all still can't come and support other videos. Make sure you're doing that. And I will see you guys the next time. Stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kimochi. Bye. What's the problem? Come on, I'll take you home. Ha 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 